breaking out in a big way so far, leading Wofford 4-0. And another one, South Carolina just pouring it on as Justin Suko gets into the mix now. And it's 5 0. Yellow card earlier in the first or second half, rather, so White needs to be careful a bit. Yeah, it'd be pretty devastating for the Paladins if yeah. they were to lose one player at all, but for it to be White on top of that, playing 10 men against this Gamecock offense wouldn't be good. Now an opportunity looking to be crossed in, loose, far side shot and a goal. The Gamecocks take a one nothing advantage here with 22-03 remaining in the second half. It was a shot, a save by Hale. We'll see. Put in the right side of the net, and South Carolina takes the one nothing advantage. There's nothing Hale could do there. I believe the goal, Sukal, the sophomore out of Texas, and there is Halloran. Trying to get ahead to Good Johnson. Can he track it down? Yes, Good Johnson. Little hill flick. Unable to maintain possession. Now look at Meyer. Meyer takes the shot. Good save and then pounced in. South Carolina with the goal. Beautiful follow for South Carolina. And we are level 1-1. One, one. It has been a long time since South Carolina has notched a win. You have to go all the way back to September 19th when the Gamecocks defeated top 25 ranked Furman 1-0 here at Stone Stadium. Wow. There it is. South Carolina takes the advantage. Justin Suko finally. Justin Suko, Richard, you had said that he was without an opportunity all match and finally on an isolation, Justin Suko with a blast to put the Gamecocks in the lead three to two. It's three unanswered right now for Carolina. Beautifully done by Suko. And a night. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, 